What's up folks? So this video is going to be an update and not a classical video on my channel where I'm just covering some research paper. So basically um, what I've been doing is uh, over the last seven days I think I've been uh, coding this uh, graph attention network or get for short uh, from scratch and I actually started somewhere around New Year's time and I just continued now. I'll be just skipping the, the classical uh, research paper uh, overview because um, for those of you who know me you know that I do I mix a lot of theoretical work uh, but I also do a lot of hands-on on like deploring projects and stuff so now the the, the, the time has come pretty much in my in my, in my like uh, workflow to to just kind of pause the the theory a little bit and focus on, on coding as you probably know uh, like my github profile has a lot of projects uh, those are some of the the projects I've been developing throughout the last year make sure to check them out I've got a neural style transfer on my github you can play with that I've implemented both Gatiss's approach so that's the original optimization based approach I've also got uh, Johnson's approach which is the fast forward like just using CNN to stylize your images I've got uh, even some really cool um, projects where you can just basically uh, segment yourself and stylize everything around or stylize yourself whatever so that's cool check it out as well uh, then I've got deep dream uh, which was really awesome artistic project and you can learn a lot about CNN's and deep learning in general by doing this project so make sure to check that one as well uh, then I've, I've been developing generative resilient networks as well so I did like develop the original one I did develop the uh, conditional GAN and finally the DC GAN which kind of started the Cambrian explosion uh, in the world of generative adversarial networks so that one is really cool uh, then continuing uh, I was developing uh, the transform I was working on transformers and I actually open sourced the original Vasfani transformer so I really like to think that that project is a super super uh, good place to uh, to start supplementing the paper and understanding how it actually works so every single detail so we got it's got a lot of comments so yeah uh, hopefully you'll find the one useful as well so now I'm working on, on get graph attention network and as any as pretty much any deploying project you can conceptually uh, kind of split it into a couple of parts so like the first one is data then we have the the model part and finally we have the training loop and some additional visualizations uh, the stuff I usually put in playground I, I call playground whatever and uh, basically uh, when it comes to data because these are graphs um, I've been doing some stuff that I usually don't do when I'm exploring data so I've been doing network analysis like uh, just plotting the degree distribution of my network of core network and some other statistics uh, I did some I, I found this really good tool iGraph uh, and I actually plotted how Cora looks like and that kind of just gives me a gut feeling for for how the graph looks like and that's that's kind of useful uh, you feel better about yourself if nothing else <laughs> you probably don't need to, to know all of those details to make a, to make a, this project successful but it's it's really cool and you learn a lot in the process to learn different tools you learn yeah uh, basically that and um, finally uh, the, the the model part is um, so I, I have like four I think I, I have four different implementations so the first one is similar to PyTorch geometric if you're not familiar with that project that's a really super awesome uh, project that was implementing most of the uh, main uh, graph uh, networks so GNNs so do check it out uh, but the thing is my, my implementation is actually like almost twice as fast because I was using some specialized PyTorch functions like instead of using ba basic NumPy index I was using index select I was using instead of using like some uh, suffix function I was using torch sum uh, I also uh, don't have the overhead of having to fit my my get project inside of this message passing uh, framework as they do so it's 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 cleaner and it's faster so but it's only for graph attention network so hopefully you'll find it useful I'll open source it I think next weekend so stay tuned for that one and uh, the other implementations one is using uh, torch sparse API which is currently in beta so uh, that that's going to be fun because I'll have to develop the be uh, backprop function explicitly so it doesn't handle so those sparse functions don't handle the backprop automatically uh, the third one is the conceptually the, the easiest to understand but it's computationally most inefficient so yeah so that's the gradation the training loop part is uh, really easy because core is just a simple classification problem so nothing you there just cross entropy like some masking because we have uh, because it's a transductive uh, training uh, setting and that means uh, you you have to mask out the training nodes uh, 
but you can see the uh, test nodes as well as the uh, validation nodes during the, the, the procedure. So uh, yeah, that's nothing interesting there. Uh, then I've got the playground where I've been uh, profiling different sparse uh, formats for different matrices. So like uh, you probably heard of some of them like COO, uh, the coordinate form uh, format, then we have DOK, then we have LIL, we have CSR, CSS, C S no C S C sorry, uh, then we've got no not C S S that's 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 not the best format, and then um, we've got um, Dia and B S R so about about seven formats which SciPy uh, supports and I, what I've did is I just analyzed how how fast they are and I actually figure out that some of the implementations out there like GCN by Thomas Kipp and even get the official get by Petr Velichkovic uh, used they've used a um, uh, little format for some arithmetic operations like summations and, and, uh, and stuff like that. And that's actually suboptimal because you want to use that one as you're building up your graph, as you're just modifying the sparsity structure, but you don't want to use it for arithmetic operations. So yeah, that, that's a, that's a fun, fun. It was a fun experimentation, <clears throat> and also of course I love visualizing stuff. Uh, I played a little bit with TSNE, where I visualized the embeddings that come out from the train get model. So yeah, I also played with UMAP. That's a, that's a relatively new algorithm. Uh, most of the people are just using TSNE as the default method, but UMAP is also cool. But in this particular case, I actually found that TSNE is as good as UMAP, so I just kind of dumped it all together. And finally, I want to make a shout out to my patrons, to Petr Velichkovic from DeepMind, who is the AI overlord of this channel, and to Jimix, who is the AI disciple of this channel. Nothing less important, just wanted to make a shout out and thank you for, for supporting my channel. Nothing less important, the, the whole community. I love all of your comments, keep them going. I just want to read a couple of them here. So the first one, uh, great one question. Have you noticed that arbitrary style transfer paper has more citations than universal style transfer one? So I, I love those geeky ones as well as uh, these more simple ones like, geez, man, do you ever take a holiday? Uh, lol, uh, I appreciate all your videos. So just keep them coming. Uh, I love your comments and I read all of your comments and uh, I'm going to try and answer all of them. Hi, Alexa, can you make a video about your background and your journey into AI ML? Uh, yeah, basically, if I, if I see more of these uh, comments, I'll probably uh, make some time and create a video where I'll walk you through my journey into deep learning. So I also want to make a shout out to uh, to Phil, who is uh, also supporting my channel. And thank you. Your channel is also amazing. So love to collaborate one day with you. Uh, yeah, uh, that was pretty much it. You know the drill. Uh, subscribe hit the like button and share this video. That's how you can help me uh, build up this channel, build up the community. I want to include you as more as I can in, in, my, in, all, in all of this. So if you have any suggestions how I can do that, uh, please write them down in the comment section. And until next time, keep learning deep.